Uh, no, they have plans for the 80th anniversary for The Dark Knight. They're going to re- no. release every single Batman movie oh, in God. theaters again. Oh, that's wow. cool. Even Batman and Robin. <laughs> yes, I, all of them. Which sure. we should all go see I'll together. You, that Bat- would be hilarious. Batman and Robin is probably uh, almost like seeing the Rocky, Rocky Horror Picture Show at this point. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it's so bad in a fun way. It's so bad. Yeah. It's, it's fun. And, yes, I all, can't those, do it. all those ice puns. I yeah. can't. Cool I, it, bro. I can't, cool I can't remember when it was. It's like three years ago or something. It was on. And I'm like, yeah, eh, you know, it's five minutes. I'm like, it's really bad. It's so bad. I don't know. It's what like the, eating cotton candy yeah, without of, any kind of yeah, salty or, yeah. or food or sustenance. A lot of, like, lot of, lot of badass. I think we should all go see it together in the theater. It's it's only like an hour and a half. Right? No, it's way too Wait, long for how, what it should be. Right, it's like two hours. Or let's something. guess. Let's guess. I say it's an hour and forty three minutes. I say it's two hours. Yeah, I say hour it's, twenty. I say uh, I'm gonna go hour hour and fifty minutes. All right. So Brett. One last time. Low ball. How long is it? Where is it? Ah, I win. Two hours and five I minutes. I know. Yes. I know. Too long. That is, dude. That is way too. That's, that's like that's, Lawrence of Arabia. That's like shit. Yeah, that's like waterboarding. There are a lot of ice puns in it. My that, my, my favorite thing. Is the Thirty five minutes yeah, of ice puns. Yeah. I don't know what the radio show was or whatever. They had Clooney on. They asked him if he considered himself the greatest supervillain because he killed Batman. Yeah, yeah I remember that. Yeah, remember. Uh, the bat nipples. Yeah. Can't forget and about those. That wasn't him. And look, and, and to be honest with you, it wasn't even Joel Schumacher's fault. It was it was Warner Brothers' fault. Well, you, you know what's no, 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 no. It, and I, I was on the I was on the blame of Joel Schumacher for a long time. Yeah, they made him shift because they went away. Batman. I don't love Batman Returns. I, I don't. forever. Ba- no, the second one. Oh, Batman you're Returns. talking about the Tim Burton, not yeah, Joel sorry. Schumacher. I don't love. No, no, no. Batman Returns is Tim Burton, but yeah. it was it was still consistent to the first movie. I didn't yeah. like it was. I think it turned more into a Tim Burton movie, but it was still consistent to the characters that he set up in the first one. There's Catwoman's m- amazing. Absolutely, mm-hmm. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just, it, I thought the penguin just started to get a little silly. But that's, but that's me. It stays consistent. Then what Warner Brothers wanted to do is they wanted to shift away from that tone, and they wanted to go more light, and they wanted to sell more toys. Yeah, and go so, back more to the TV show, basically. Yes, and they wanted to get more colors and and all that stuff. This is before the superhero boom yeah. again. So then they had they, Batman Forever. They had Batman around. Forever, and 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 then which they, is super cartoony. It and, is, yeah. but it's much better than Batman and Robin <laughs> yes. because they, what they told Joe Shu and Joe Schumacher has talked about this. What well, they said, they said more colors, more for kids. Over the top, sell toys, and he's like, "Oh man, what do I do now?" And it was he was forced into that. He was forced into it. But and you know, if you watch Batman and Robin, it's actually um, it has it's filmed via the Dutch angles, which yeah. is how the '66 TV show was filmed. Yeah. Yeah. And so, if you actually if you watch the movie again after not watching it for however, because you just remember the bad stuff, right? It is it's not a good movie, but it's it feels like. A, they're basically doing a, the TV show, yes, but with modern technology for the yeah. time, yeah, and that's was, why it's so cheesy it and over the top and like bad writing. It was the executives. So, it so was bad. the executives trying to th- that did not understand it. And mm-hmm. remember the the attitude towards superhero movies back then mm-hmm. um, were it, it was. That it, it's it's cartoon stuff, yeah. it's comic book stuff. Don't you, don't take it so serious. They, yeah, and they just want that for eight year olds, basically. Yes, and see that's why Nolan flipped it flipped it on its head mm-hmm. when he brought when he brought it back. So he he did the exact opposite and took it very serious. And that's why I think is definitely uh, a lot very responsible for. A shift because people yeah. start to go well. Nolan, Nolan proves that people can. You yeah, can't take but this but serious. at the but as much as you like, not everybody likes the Tim Burton movies, which I still love. Yeah. If it wasn't like he still made Batman Dark for the time. Oh yes. that yeah. it came out yeah. because you only had the Frank Miller comic books like in the eighties, but you didn't like most people knew Batman. As um, what's his name? Um, Adam West. Adam West. Yeah, Adam thank West. You, no, no, you know? no, absolutely. So, no, no, you're right. It's, it's, I'm just saying, give Tim Burton the credit too. You Tim, know? I started with giving Tim okay. Burton credit. Yeah, right, no, I just mean for the dark part of it. I, yeah, I yeah. am. That, yeah, but, yeah. but what I'm saying is that it was the executives that didn't right, because right, they, right. they because he started that shift of taking it serious and and it was still like again Tim Burton movies. And there was some silly enough silly mm-hmm. stuff in it, but it was it was dark for mm-hmm. sure. They the executives decided you're taking this too serious. Yeah. So let's move on. It's one of the reasons Michael Keaton didn't want to come back. It's one of the reasons Tim Burton didn't want to come back. So let's move on now and make it silly and fun and almost and almost killed the Batman franchise. Yeah. Burton, Burton and Donner is also another one. Donner took Superman 1 and 2 very seriously and, and was one of the reasons he was 
kind of booted off because three is awful. Three and four, and four are awful. Is horrendous. But no, you're talking about the selling of the toys yes. and that Batman thing. That is exactly what killed or at least did, delayed that Superman Returns movie because yeah. John Peters was that producer. Right. Wanted toys. He wanted to make a Superman movie and that was like, they have a great article up on Collider, all the uh, what ifs. And it was like J.J. Abrams, McG, like all those, Brett Ratner at one point. And at one point, John Peters like, Superman doesn't fly. Give him a jetpack. We want toys. So they wanted to make a Superman movie with a lot of toy mm-hmm. right. things. And they're ch- changing. Like, Superman That's, doesn't fly. Why do you think uh, yeah. Borgs exist? Yeah. I Hey-o. know. I know. It's true. It's true. It's yeah. crazy to and think. I, I get it's a business, but you also got to you, you, you can't You can't sell you can't out the product. Ch- you can't change the yeah. characters, yeah. like, everything about the character just to sell a toy. I agree.